Hey, thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com. It's Thursday, January 1st, 2015. Happy New Year. And your day planner features breezy conditions, some patchy blowing snow. There'll be some light snow and lake effect snow over most of Upper Michigan this morning. And then we see a diminishing trend away from Lake Superior. The afternoon highs actually topping out through the upper teens, low 20s in the warmer spots. We do continue with the lake effect snow warning over northern Houghton and Keweenaw counties. That'll go until just after lunchtime. You do also have some wintry weather, some gusty winds over towards the bridge and northern lower Michigan. And look at these temperatures, not too awfully bad. It is actually a mild start to compare to what we've seen over the past couple days. Single digits and through the teens, some of those backyard thermometers uh, certainly fell in through those single digits, but you have to factor in these winds. So that's going to add a bit of a bite to the air. It's also going to pick up that snow blowing around a bit, especially on that windward westward side of the far western UP through the Keweenaw and also along the Great Lakes shorelines. You can see the system snow working in. You can't see uh, the snow showers over the Keweenaw too well, but we actually picked up on a uh, uh, three inches since 5 a.m. at the 8 o'clock hour. So it's about an inch an hour, as you can see. Scattered snow showers elsewhere. We're going to see uh, enhanced lake effect snow over that superior shoreline east of Marquette through your Thursday. You can see as this cool frontal boundary settles into the Great Lakes, not a whole lot of abundant moisture, just enough to spark off some of these widely scattered snow showers around the Great Lakes. Still watching this big high pressure ridge, keeping things fairly quiet around the center part of the country. We're going to have to keep our eyes on this system. That's eventually going to get itself together, lifting towards the Great Lakes, and also some unsettled weather is going to develop out of the uh, lee side of the Rockies. That's going to be knocking on the door in time for the weekend. So here's this cool front that's going to continue spreading in. West and northwest winds do keep the lake effect snow pinned up uh, along the superior shoreline through the Keweenaw Peninsula tonight, even into your Friday morning. But I think a developing southwest wind would keep more of a disorganized, isolated lake effect uh, snow shower action over the Keweenaw Peninsula, maybe along Superior Shoreline. So again, it's a diminishing trend Friday in those snow showers. As we look ahead at uh, Friday night into Saturday, we're watching a pair of low pressure systems come together to crosshairs right on the Great Lakes. Uh, this one has abundant moisture. It's going to bring some warmer air in. So there's going to be a mix of rain and snow lifting towards the southern Great Lakes. I think we keep mainly snow as the precipitation type. So it'll warm up briefly. It may not feel all that warm. And then we cool things way back down. I think the weekend may create some limited travel problems. We may see some sort of winter weather advisory in time for the weekend. Back to today, patchy blowing snow, breezy over the uh, open areas of upper Michigan, especially the Keweenaw Peninsula. Visibility may be down to a half a mile here and there. Temperatures mild, uh, upper teens, low 20s, and then again, it's the morning snow, and then we see a diminishing trend through the afternoon. Not much improvement expected, though, over the superior shoreline east of Marquette. Looks pretty snowy for you over the next at least 24 hours. Meanwhile, you guys inland, you begin to clear out through the evening and overnight. That'll lead to a chilly night. We'll generally be into the single digits above and below zero, depending on just where you are. Coldest over the interior west. Snow continues into the Keweenaw and along superior overnight. I'm going to go one to three over the Keweenaw for today. An additional one to three inches of snow possible into tonight. So we're approaching six to eight inches through the day on your Friday. And we're approaching a foot, especially over towards Whitefish Point, uh, far northern Luz County during the day Friday. And some messy weekend weather on tap. A sort of warm up, but it's short lived. As kids get ready to head back to school, you're going to want to bundle up because the trap doors slam shut on those temperatures next week. Have a great day. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.